April 23, 2016, Lasalle and Atene would face each other once again in the finals for the fifth straight year. The Lady Spikers had to gut it out with FEU in two grueling final four matches, while the Lady Eagles, who finished at the top after the elimination round, easily disposed of UP in their own semis matchup. It has been an up and down season for DLSU. The first round loss to NU left everyone in the Lasallian community scratching their heads and asking what went wrong. Then just when the team seemed to turn in the right direction after beating Ateneo in the elimination round in straight sets, the UST Tigresses humbled Dasal with a straight set victory of their own. Two more losses, one against the Lady Eagles in their penultimate second round match, and that shocking come from behind five set loss to FEU in the first game of their semi-final matchup, seem to put more doubt and questions to what the Lady Spikers can achieve this season. After finally disposing their semi-final foe just three days earlier, Coach Ramil De Jesus was wary of the short turnaround time and the team playing its fifth game in two weeks, while Ateneo had the luxury of resting one full week. After two years of watching Ateneo hoist the championship trophy at their expense, the team was determined to stop their rivals from achieving their own 3 -peat. With pride, game number one of the best of three series in the greatest rivalry ever in Philippine sports. This is the women's volleyball season 78 UAAP, the finals. Officiating match number 60, our first referee, Yul Benosa, international referee. Our second referee, James Oliver Mora, national referee. Let us now meet the starters, beginning with the two-time champions, Ateneo Demon and the Lady Eagles. From Bacolod City, 19 years old, 5 feet 7 inches. Number 18, Kim Hekiliana. She is 19, 5'11", from Tarlac City. Number 14, Bea De Leon. 5'7", 19 years old, from Lipa City, Batangas. Number 15, Joanna Maraginot. From Gapan Nueva Ecija, 20 years old, 5'6", the center, number 12, Gia Morado. 22 years old, 5 feet 8 inches, from the play of plenty, New Zealand, number 16, Amy Ahombiro. And 22 years old, 5'8", from San Juan, Batangas, team captain, Alisa Valdez! Their libero is from Bacolod City, 21 years old, 5'1", number 6, Giselle Tan! Head coach of the Lady Eagles, Anuson Tai Bundi! And now, continue to make some noise for the Telesan Lady Spikers! From Concepcion Tarlac, 21 years old, 5'11", number 10, Matsoy Baron! 22 years old, 5'6 and a half, from the Queen City of the South, Cebu, number 18, Sid Nemesilio from Manila, 20 years old, 5 feet 10 inches, number 11, Kim D. 5 7, 22 years old, from Kalatagan, Batangas, team captain, number 9, Kim Fajardo from Angeles, Pampanga. 21 years old, 5'7 and a half, number 8, Aragala! 
511, 21 years old, from Pulilan, Bulacan, number three, Mika Reyes. And their libero, exactly five feet, 19 years old, from Tanawan, Batangas, Don Macantini. And coach of the Lady Spikers, Ramil De Jesus. This is game one, the finals. Coach Ramil, bola kayo nyo rin. Uh -huh. And of course, Coach Ty. <laughs> but ang game. Malayo na yun ang konti. Ito, starting lineup. These are the usual names. And um, I don't think there's, there's going to be any more changes when it comes to the starting lineup for uh, for these two teams. No? They want to give, of course, the best effort right from the very start. A very crucial matchup. We mentioned, of course, our two superstars in Aragada and then Alisa Valencia. And of course, the centers, Kim Fajardo and Gia Morado. Okay, bago tayo magbakbaka dito, Doc. Um, the, you made a point about wala nang palitan, starters, wala nang... Yeah. By this time, Doc, as we get into our first rally here and Makadili digging the Eliza Valdez attack, by this time, these teams know each other so well. Yes. Five years in a row, coaches know each other, three years in a row. This season, the Lopez is Nakita, San Panalo is Talo. So the important thing is really two things. Execution yes. of the plays. Kaya yeah, alam na nila yung isa't oh, isang tama, play. Tama. Yeah. And reduction of errors. errors. Correct. Those are two very important um, uh, departments of the game that you have control of. So you don't want to commit too many errors. Kasi alam na nila yung mga tendency oh, ng isa't isa. Oh. Whether it's from a team standpoint or an individual you're right, standpoint. You're right. So it's just a matter of who can execute. execute. Correct. And right now, Ateneo executing its first two points with Malaginot serving. Oh! Reception error from LaSalle. Gives the Ateneo fans chance to cheer here. They are 3-0, first ace of the match, and we throw it to Laura Lima. Woman Ian, the Ateneo Lady Eagles have learned a lot from their last two matches against the LSU. But of course, the most important lesson they learn is that they cannot win without staying happy. That's just the way these girls are designed to work. And that's what they learn from all their games against the LSU. But regardless of how simple it may seem, the staying happy solution is not as easy as it looks, especially when it's a pressure field final. And so to help lighten up the mood, the girls decided to wear tie-dye shirts during warm-up the day. They even used them at practice yesterday, and some of the girls admitted that they haven't washed the shirts since then. But it's perhaps it's just a lady eagle ritual for good luck. Back to you, Boom and Ian. Ganun din si Doc Ian Lau. Don't worry. Don't worry. Napasama pa ako. Makinig muna tayo. Doc, what's the explanation here? Jitters ba? Ano bang, uh... Well, alam mo, very indecisive yung opensa ng De La Salle. They're getting the place, pero lahat ng palo parang hindi todo, hindi full swing. Basta lang, ma, you know, go through the motions, just send that ball over, sabi ni Coach Rami, hindi po, hindi, kahit, kahit na ma-block kayo, pero hindi po, hindi yung sampal-sampal lang sa bola. Kailangan buo yung loob sa palo. Finals na. Oh, There's no reason to hold back. It's like early, po, early exactly. on the game. There shouldn't be any pressure. Dapat dito talaga lahat bigay todo muna. Gala set back and 5-0 blocking of Ateneo. First ball problems. That has been a very popular topic for both teams. You know, in their wins and their yes, losses. Yes. It's first ball, reception, digging. That's why of all the matchups here that we're talking about, uh, Doc, from the coaching to Ara, as Ara swings here, and all the middle uh, players in Ahumiro and Reyes, and LaSalle finally getting yes, his first, first point. point. It may boil down to a battle of liberos yes, also. Yes, very true. Diba? Alam mo, yung mga 50-50 balls, yun yes. yung uh, can spell the difference in a match, and the liberos are almost in all of those plays. Let's go to Janine Choi from the LaSalle side. Team captain Kim Pohardo and she said that their past two games against FEU did not show a lot of consistency. She said that she was able to observe that they did show happiness and enjoyment while playing the game they love. But the problem is when the game gets tight and the scores get close, the girls have a hard time sustaining their focus and composure. The captain knows how
how both teams are determined and vying for the championship title. That's why Kim said that having confidence and more importantly, sustaining that confidence in her teammates is a priority. And because 90% of the ball goes through her, being the captain and the setter, she knows that the confidence needs to start with her. Back to you, Mindia. And what you're talking about, Janine, is has to come to play right now because yes. it's a 7-1 score here in the first set. Very shaky. A dream start pa man. Yeah, po. Ito nga tinay, ito yung simula na talagang gusto mo, no? And a point of a block. And uh, even if you say that this is the fifth time they're used to this kind of an atmosphere, big crowd, pero iba pa rin pag nandyan ka sa loob ng court na yan. You should know, no, yeah, you played at this level, you played at the championships, and no matter what, iba pa rin pag, eh, tayo yeah. nga, we always get goosebumps just yeah. being here. That's true. Eh, imagine sila. Sila. Valdez is sent back. That's the strength that Dela Sal has to really utilize and of course maximize early on because that can really change the complexion of the game solid block look at that right arm that's of kim d and that's what we mentioned kim d doesn't only provide the offense right. but she guards that down the line area and that's where eliza valdez loves to hit it so that's going to be always there that's a good set and then she's offensive minded too that's a pretty set from Fajardo. She knew that the action was over here at the outside. What does she do? Throws it so fast to the reverse. Kaya kita mo yung blockers, humahabol na lang. Extremely talented. Kiana D, who's still undecided, by the way, whether she's coming back next year or not. Oh. Uh, but all in all, five players from La Salle graduating <laughs> as they give a point to Ateneo. So it will be 8-4. We'll be back. Biggest lead of the match so far is six at seven and one. Fajardo quickly to Reyes. <laughs> Staring everyone down. And uh, well, she's not gonna change now. She's not she going, won. Diba sabi niya, she's yeah. going to stick to who she is. Right. The way she's been playing. The way she's been playing. And I think that goes for all these players, whether you're from a La Sala or Ateneo. There's no point in kind of adjusting yeah. and changing your demeanor or your style in the finals as Eliza Valdez will not change her aggressive flying style either, so especially hard. in her last finals appearance. So hard to block Eliza. She can hit from the outside. She can hit from the opposite side. And uh, Gia Morado always has a very good option in going to uh, Eliza. Is that... That's outside. Good read by Dawn. Whenever it goes over your shoulder, most likely it's going to go out. Three players graduating from the nail. That's the aforementioned Valdez, Ahomiro, and Tajima. For La Salle, it is Domicilio, Cerveza, Galang, Reyes, and, I, I, uh, and Esperanza. Of course, uh -huh. hello, Mita. And I did mention the fact, Pajardo, of course, and I did mention the fact that uh, he is still 50-50 in terms of, but she still has one year of eligibility. Yeah. And speaking of the, she goes back to the service area because the Cebuana City Mesilio gets this point. She's been strutting also in the yes, final four. Yes, definitely. New dance step for her. Ang alam mo si City Mesilio, very good outside hitter. But then she needs that confidence, no? Dapat ngayon pa lang, ganito ka aga, binibigyan muna ng touches si Sid. Coach Ramil trying to say that there was four touches. Nice save. Oh! oh. So look at these two setters. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, trying to outsmart each other. As you mentioned, very offensive-minded setters. At humabol na ang nasal dito, 9-8. Yan yung ginawa ni Gia kanina, ginawa naman ni Kim. That's Picked right. up by Tan. Point. Yeah, it was 4-0, I think 6-1. and 7-1. One. 7-1, one. Seven, one. now it's uh, just a one-point lead. Yeah, you're right. Well, oh! Miscommunication. Oh! Eliza was the one who... Oh. Yeah, too low. Her arm was too low in that attack. And she knew it. She's more effective in the outside. Sin is also one of those players doubtful even yeah, to make the lineup. Yeah, there are issues with her leg right, and all right. that. And now she's playing in her last finals. 
Fajardon. Valdez. Ahumiro is blocked by Mika Reyes. That's already two points for Mika off the block. And did you see how she went up for that block? Talagang pinalutan yung bola. Just like an umbrella. Look at this. That ball ain't going anywhere. So she serves nine, serving ten. Game one of the finals between the arch rivals. Ahomiro. Reyes recovers. Wow. A push. The set. And Maraginot puts it away. What a talent. What a talent for Ateneo. Maraginot. You know, always. And, and you know the funny thing is, when you talk to some of these volleyball players, including her, and you heard her in the interview, she, she cannot hurt the fly. <laughs> but when she spikes, and here's another one. Yeah, 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 and I like the way that Kim Fajardo set that up. Of course, si Gia Morado is the shortest front line for Ateneo, so that's the number of options you should have. Some great individual performances from both La Salle and Ateneo throughout the year. As Makandili sets it to Galang. Galang puts it away. And La Salle has recovered. Shaking wow. off the cobwebs. Yeah, what a run. And we are now tied at 11 all. This is what the fans really want to see in you know, this kind of a game. Gala has made a living of that down the line attack, but facing the middle of the court. Gia Again, Gia Morado finding a donut hole in that Pasal defense. Having two points already here in this match, or just in the first set. Maraginot, who started serving for Ateneo earlier. Full rotation of Putaya dito sa first set. Galang in the middle. Maraginot, inihatid kay Morado. Valdez, inabot ni Baron. But it stays in their side of the court. So the point goes to Ateneo, two point lead. Right, he uh, gotta be more decisive in the block. And uh, of course, the floor defense. Floor defense of uh, De La Salle. Needs to work harder for those drops. Makandili with coverage. Pinabawi. That's yeah. a double contact. It's a lift. Yes. That's lifting. Right? From lift. Giselle. Yeah. And Kim Fajardo gave it back to back to uh, Majoy Baron. After being blocked the first time, gave it to her again. Para makabawi. And that's the time she got that point. Good serve. Her good friend and kapitana, magdalong kapitana, dalong magkababayan pa. Magkababayan, magkasama ng high school, magkabarkada, and now magkalaban na. Ulit. Ulit. Ang tagal-tagal na rin, matagal-tagal na rin. Oh! Sir. Kaya ako ayoko na sasabihin na magaling na server eh. Madalas, magiging siya. But she's actually one of her best servers, Kim Fajardo. Fajardo, that's a good set. He in the middle. That's he has good. four points in this match so far on two attacks. Two points on attacks, two points on blocks. Look at this differential attack for Kim Lee in the middle. Hits the corner. So far, so good for this matchup, Doc Ian. We are being treated. Mm -hmm. Fantastic first set. 14 all. Morado. Uy. That's, oh, that's dangerous. Mali yung tansya niya. Ay, kumabahan niya. Nasal dito. Yeah, for the first time in this match. And um, this is a strong front line for Dela Salvo. You've got Nika Reyes. You've got Kim Di and Aragalang. So they want to make full use of this rotation. And the second technical timeout, LaSalle takes the two-point lead, 16-14. Nagbabalik po tayo dito sa loob ng Araneta Coliseum. And here is that service ace from Majoy Baron. And 
teams in the two-point lead, their biggest lead in the set. They were down as much as six. As, uh, well, speaking of, Ateneo <laughs> Lasal. <laughs> then, then, and uh, LA with us. Then, then has worked uh, with us here yes. also early in the season. Nasiing it pa tayo sa kanyang schedule. <laughs> so, marami salamat sa kanya. And of course, it's always good to see LA Revilla. We've got a lot of these there. And Maggie Madayag also with Mr. Palu of Ateneo. She has a brace on that leg. Oh, I, I bet, you know, she's dying to play oh, yeah. in this uh, series. But she'll have her time. Ang importante magpagaling muna. In the meantime, two point lead again for the Sal. Speaking of great liberos, Melissa Gohing. And what about Dan Pineda, who is who became a great libero also? Oh, diba? Kaya ng kaya niya. Yeah. Kaya rin eh. Very versatile. Yes. She played in the, the club leagues as a yeah. libero. Played for the Adamson Lady Falcons. I think I saw. Uh, Jason Webb, there in here. that picture also, daughter. Lasal uh, supporters, of course, kahit anong sport pa yan. Uh -huh. Lasal and Ateneo supporters are here as Eliza Valdez See, finds she, an open spot. She's such a threat, like what I said, even in the opposite side. And the defenders of De La Salle should realize that Eliza also loves to hit down the line, even when she's in the opposite side. Yeah, that's what I said, that's what I did. Yeah, that's Jason right there. <laughs> and a good Coach time. Webb. Yep. Another LaSalle point. 19-16. Biggest lead for LaSalle in this set after being down by six. What has happened the month? Yeah. Kita kanina to, yeah. Paano na baon yung nang anik yeah. na si LaSalle? Ano naman nag ba? The serves of De La Salle are loaded right now and they're really giving the defense and the reception of Ateneo a hard time. Therefore, wala masyado nakukuwang magandang play sa Ateneo. That one was an exception. That one was a good reception by Eliza, and they were able, either, uh, able to give it to Maraginot. Look at that. The block of De La Salle was a bit loose. There's a huge gap in the middle. And the De, the De La Salle offense has also been uh, parang re-energized, no? After being down early in this set. Neil very disappointed with that first ball just as Sid received it. It stays. That's right. And Not a player, lang, you know? <laughs> and, and Mika Reyes again. Always such a very dominating presence in the middle. Look at that. Getting the block and getting the point. It's out. Mika Reyes serving. Oh, it and dropped! It dropped! How did that happen? And it's a four-point lead in set number one. Look at this. Look at the drop of that ball, Dokian. Oh, wow. Grabe. Mababasa mo yung nakasulat sa bola the entire time. So it was really... Walang ka-spin-spin. Walang ka-spin-spin. Ito na ang reaction. In previous years, Coach Ramil, no reaction. But in the last couple, Jim, one there. Ah, five blocks so far. Ateneo with one. Reyes and D, as you see the mom mm -hmm. of Mika Reyes. Reyes and D accounting for those blocks with five. Yes. Reyes, five points. One attack, three blocks, one serve. She's serving right now. And she did say in that interview earlier, Sinya Tanaka to go out with a bang for her last finals appearance. She didn't expect anything less than a finals appearance for this year. Yep. Reyes sends wow. it back. What a dig. Ahomiro, Reyes was there to cover. Demisilio. And that is LaSalle Point. Check ball back. Yeah, it did hit Geki Yana. No, it did, yeah. And how about Reyes? Ha Sorry. After serving, Dumebensa, the floor defense, the coverage, and then still able to give a good pass to Kim. Twenty-two seventeen. What a recovery for Lasal. 
<laughs> Last second, no? Eliza deciding to get it. Maraginot. Grabe, ang galing ni Maraginot in that outside hearing position. Even against two blockers. She's got that, yung, uh, parang sinasabi na anlikot ng bola. Okay. You know, yung pagka dumaan sa block, hindi mo alam kung saan lulusot. Pinball effect. Uh -huh. Fajardo looked at Baron. It's too low for Baron. But this this time, time, they covered her. She got through this time. Oh, the clinch fist by Coach Ramil here on the side. The very animated coaching by Coach Ramil. Now, Coach Tai will call his last time out. As Masal is two points away. Is our score? A patit? Si Sid de Masillo. Sister, sister. Sister. Sid de Masillo. As she serves here. Oh! Over serve. 23 19. Sayang, I know, off a timeout, or that was a. And uh, Sid de Masillo still wanna, uh, trying to feel it out here in the first set. Four point lead. But again, not back serving. Galang stays at the Ateneo side. Morado goes back to Valdez, puts it away. Very good play there by Morado, able to fish out Baron in the middle. But what does she do? She pushes out to Eliza and very open for that outside hit. Coach Ramil will press the timeout button because of the string of points. And Iniguro, it was Coach Ramil as the lead is down to three. The chess match continues here for our two coaches. Father of Bea De Leon in attendance right now, Elmer De Leon. Always in attendance, actually. One week rest for Ateneo. A lot of people think that was an advantage yes. and all that, but they did not know their opponent until the final four series That's true. was done. So in terms of the number of days of preparing for the opponent, it was equal for both La Salle and yeah. Ateneo in terms of preparing for a specific yeah, opponent. Right. Pero may pahinga ng isang linggo. Conte, ito ang Ateneo. Training, training lang daw. That's right. Sometimes it causes more anxiety. Sa tingin mo ba? Yeah. Yung, talagang up to the last minute, inaabangan mo kung sino makakalaban mo. Ah. No? And uh, for De La Sal, when it comes to conditioning, obviously, they're in, at the end of the season, yung condition nandun na yun. Eh. So, game the, condition. So, in game condition. So, the rest, maybe, this time, it's uh, Ateneo picking up a... Oh, Saya! Oh, that was a that was a set point save by Ateneo. They're down three here. There's no room for error. Free ball, and then an over reception or an over dig by Baron. As Ahumino serves now, 21-24. That drops into zone one. Two point lead. Another set point save. Gritty, very gritty Ateneo team we're seeing here. Actually, both, no, Doc? Yeah. Pareho sila talaga. And Amy Ahomiro, like what mentioned, very tough over at the middle. Bardo to D. D goes cross court, and they take set number one after being behind by six points. Very good run there. Alam mo, no? Uh, wala, tutok ni Atleti Club ang De La Sal, but they found a way to tie, take the lead, and never look back after that. We are back in 
inside the Araneta Coliseum for game number one ng ating UAP Season 78 Women's Volleyball Finals. Well, let, let's talk about the numbers, Dokian. All right, 14 attack points for Ateneo, only 11 for De La Salle. And this is the strength of De La Salle that we mentioned. They oh. really have the edge and they took command of this department. Six blocks against only one for Ateneo Service Aces, three against two. And unforced errors tied at five apiece. So yung attacks na yan sa Obensa, sa Ateneo. Pero ang depensa sa blocking sa De La Salle. So that's the character of these two teams, you know. And um, sabi nga natin, yung weakness naman ng Ateneo is their defense. It kind of showed a little, no? just a little in that first set. And De La Salle took advantage of that. For De La Salle, it was how many offensive blocks did they get in that crucial stretch? Maybe three or four that changed the complexion of that first set. Two things you want to mention here. First, La Salle showed character by coming back from 1-6, one 1-7 one rather, yeah. to win that set. And then the other thing I want to mention, but this is also what happened to uh, Ateneo in uh, their second matchup. They lost yeah. their first set. True. And then so Came what back. we're trying to say is, when we're, when we're talking about the finals, and these two, two great teams. teams are going, you, there's, you just can't tell what's going to happen yeah. anymore because they're definitely. so well matched. Definitely, definitely. Oh. Ahumiro led Ateneo with six points. D led Lasal with six points. Yung pinag-usapan natin kanina. Mm, the two players we oh, talked about or X Factors, they led their respective teams with six points apiece. Valdez with five. Mika Reyes with five also of her own. Baron with so much confidence at this point. Getting set from Kim Fajardo. Service errors, two for Ateneo, three for La Salle. Fajardo serves. Maraginot receives. De Leon puts it away. Binawian ni Bea De Leon and Gia Morado with a quick play. Let's go to Laura Lehman right now. Bumanian, in my last report, I talked about the importance of staying happy. But being in the finals, the Ateneo Lady Eagles know that this isn't the only thing they'll need. Both teams are already happy and energetic, and so to win, Ateneo must bring more to the table. This is the finals, and this is exactly why during practice, the girls have been going over time. The very busy Eliza Valdez canceled all endorsements to make time for training. They woke up at 6 a.m. today to stretch, and they also heard mass earlier this afternoon. Gia's mom even brought them chocolate, Cadbury chocolate, to eat before the game. That's all for now, Bumagian. Michelle mm. Tan mentioned that uh, the trainings were even tougher, even as the... FEU LaSalle matches were going on for the final four just to keep them sharp and get them ready for the finals regardless of who the opponent was. Or Choi with this report from the LaSalle side. Season, sinabi ni Ara Galang na ito na ang kanyang pagkakataon na marating ang matagal na nilang gustong marating simula pa ng huling season. Masayang-masaya siya na muli siyang binigyan ng bagong pagkakataon ng Panginoon na makapaglaro muli. At dahil doon ay sinabi niyang gagawin niya ang lahat ng kanyang makakaya para wala siyang pagsisihan. At dahil ito na ang huling taon niyang maglaro sa UAAP, ilalabas niya na lahat para makatulong siya sa kupo ng makuha ang matagal na nilang minimit. Balik sa inyo, Bumat Ian. Maraming salamat, uh, Janine. Of course, Every wish of every graduating yeah, player is oh. to win a championship. And it, para sa kanya, bawi pa nga. Dahil hindi nga siya nakalaro dun sa finals. As Maraginot puts this one away. At tabla na naman tayo. Four points. It is Ateneo serving with a lot of power and uh, making it hard for the defense of De La Salle. And that's why they, they're getting easy points right now with those missed receptions of, of uh, De La Salle. For all. Set number two. And the call is, it's Ateneo point. Yeah, there's no touch. Well, a touch? Yeah, that's a clean block from Ateneo, no touch. And um, that was a triple block in front of Aragalan, so obviously she got bothered by it. Lamang na. Lamang Five, four. Kanina pa yung Eliza sa service uh, area. How about Igarez today? She's got seven points. And you remember, in terms of production, she's yeah. not, yeah. you know, hasn't been 
that kind of a player. Correct, correct. He's there for the blocking, oh. for uh, intimidation. Yeah, and for fishing out blockers in the middle, correct. no? But uh, to get the Today, day, yeah. point production from her is just a big lift for De La Salle. Five points in the meantime, para kay Joe. That time she got pulled by Gia Morado. And you see that slight fake of Gia Morado na kala mo sa likod ibibigay din sa harap. That's really uh, how talented Gia Morado is as a setter. Sakit na naman umatake si Stulo. That said is Stulo. Papabawiin. And then si uh, easily, Gia. Easily picked up. That's Mababa. Stulo again. Oh. Isa pa. De Leon. Back row. Yeah. Valdez. Oh, Makadili keeps it up. Bouncing off the floor, her body. So a oh, free ball for Lasalle. That's too easy. Nobody behind Hegeliana. So Lasalle gets the point on a long rally. Right now, we are tied at six. But look at this. Look at how she bounced off the floor here. Wow. Grab it. May si Papa yan, eh, di ba? Nung huling game, she had to save that she kicked and let over. Yeah, that was one of, you know, best top five plays of the of the season. season yeah. Another loaded serve. This is what I want to see, actually. Eliza oh, wow. from the back row. Oh, how about that angle, Doc? And again, individual brilliance. First, the Makandili dig, and now, look at the cut on that ball. That's what I was saying. Over during the break, you know, they gotta get Eliza involved, even if she's in the back row. Seven points for her, dog. The Messilius check, but Makandili is right there. Shadung ticket. Makandili again. Na naman. Makandili again. Ball still in play. And Maraginot finishes the point. Another good set by Gia. I hope we can see this again. Look at how Gia. Look at that fake. Your, look at that fake. Our command. Look, look, look at that fake. Walang nakaabot. There you go. 8 6. This time for Ateneo. Eight six is our score. We're back with you on ABS-CBN Sports in Action. Make that nine six after the Mika Reyes error. Coach Tai celebrating here, dancing. With the three point lead, second set. Lasalle with a one zero lead in terms of sets. Another good serve by Hekiana. Drop by. Kim Fajardo, if you mention her to be your offensive-minded setter, when things aren't going her way with her spikers, she always can put points up on the board with those fakes, and uh, she gets that one in. But Makandili with now six excellent receptions and five excellent digs. 9-7 is our score. Baraginot puts it away. So great. Attacking yes. from both teams. And this is what we want to see in the finals. We don't want to see any lopsided yeah. stuff. We want both no. teams giving each other you know, knockout punches almost every time. Fajardo Another this time. one. Another one. Hit for that volleyball, Doc. And she's one of those few setters na pinapayagan ng coach na maganya, no? Waiting derecho na ibalik agad every time she gets a chance. Not go to the yeah. spikers. That's what they call a one-two play. Nung ako ginagawa ako, madalas ako makagalitan. <laughs> Ito, Kim Fajardo. Three straight points of De La Salle. The last three coming from Kim Fajardo. Well, you, you mentioned it, Doc. Two of the most offensive setters. She led the La Salle in points in that second matchup with 13. And right now, they're back here. Nine serving ten. Ahumiro pushes it to the back and somebody touched the net. 
Madroy gets called for a net. So Ateneo restores an 11, make that two point lead 11 to 9. What a match so far, and you're watching it live. Maybe a CBN Sports and Action. Makatili. Again, we do low. And a little bit tough angle and distance for the Cebuana to handle. 12 9 is our score. Boom Gonzalez with the highest paid analyst in any. <laughs> Sport, <laughs> any TV broadcast. What am I money? What did I say? What am I money? What did I say? Oh, this one almost uh, going straight to our first referee, Yul Benosa. You graduated with a championship yourself, Diba. So you know that feeling. You want that feeling. You graduated with a championship. You graduated as a best setter yes. also, correct? No, for any player who ends their career, no, not only in the UAP, but for any sport in any um, competition gusto mo talaga you, you end up with a feel that you were the best yeah right That's oh miscommunication on the offensive side for Ateneo so Lasal breathing down the necks okay, right this, now this is important for Ateneo this is the same stage of that uh, first set that uh, De La Sal made a comeback yeah made a comeback and got the lead and just never looked back Sid digging. Free ball, That's easy too over. Easy, yeah. It's a good thing they gave it to Morado. Morado, you know, first ball. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, true. Right. that's true. So you do that on purpose. That didn't right. happen by chance. Sid already, you know, looked at the other side and checked where Gia was. You gave it to the first ball. You gave it to the center. And the free ball. Free ball. The center. And we're going to play. Doc, 12-12. Set number two. Yeah. Soft attack by Maiso Valdez works. Sometimes you anticipate so much power from this girl, you know, that that when she comes in with that feathery touch, tamang tama lang, worth a good point. Yeah, it, it just sets you off in the oh, si right timing. Oh. Just like that for yeah. Kim D. Like Iliana. Oh, oh. Playing the matrix there, <laughs> bending over to make sure she doesn't hit the ball. You know, that, that was hard to do, no? Because if you go back, you the ball, then you have to bend extra to avoid contact with the ball. Dexterity and the flexibility wow. as Morado sets. Ooh. Another one of our excellent servers. This time missing the line by a, a foot or two. Fourteen thirteen. We are inching, crawling through this second set, point by point. Aldes looks at an open spot. Baron Demesilio saves it. Free ball. Morado will choose. Teleon to put Teleon, it away. Aldea Morado, such a good setter, such a good playmaker. It's Coach Ty just keeps on looking at Coach Romil every time that they get a point. That's what I said the last time. <laughs> I heard you. Each other. Good reception by Sid. And that's what happens after a good reception. Keanu D able to put it away. Such a high level for these two teams right now. Kita mo talaga na. Yeah, you're right. The level has really gone up. Quanting error ng isa, ano eh, more often than not, the other team will take advantage. Oh, poor reception, yes. 15 off. Watching us in high definition on ABS-CBN Sports and Action Channel 166. Madami natin ay kita mga taga Italy, Dubai, Japan, Canada, at syempre buong Pilipinas. Nanonood, nakatutok. Maraming maraming salamat as Hekiliana gets Ateneo to the second technical timeout with a one-point lead. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, so far at, as we speak, 19,961 inside wow. the Araneta Coliseum.
Wala pa dyan yung 50 na pinasok mo ng libre so, sa eh. likod. Alam niyo? <laughs> yung <laughs> yung pinentahan ko. <laughs> Happy Maranyo! Yeah, I saw her, yeah, her pass through her back here. Sila Wench Chu nakita yes, ko kanina. Yes, no? yes. Dako, number one cheerleader din ng ano yan. Service error. Uh, lady Spikers. In the meantime, service error. Yan ang ginawa ko bago ako pumasok dito kanina. <laughs> <laughs> Pinariringgan mo na naman. Ayan na, sabi ko nga. They're in attendance here. Watching the game. Supporting, of course, as their team is tied up with Ateneo. Not anymore. Three point. Our record is actually game two of the finals last year. 20,705. But we've had, you know, numbers like 19,266. 18,500 also last year. Right now, 19,961 inside. As Gretchen Ho and Justin Pirino from up front, they're all in attendance. The idols, Gretch. Justin, the idols. I told her to Justin. Kanina, sabi ko. Kanina mo lang. I told her to Justin. Today. Oh, there's some moves cascading down here. The Araneta Coliseum. Go to Eliza from way out. Look at launch. She launched yeah. like it was a back, back row attack. attack. No, right. Let's look at that. Look at that. Medyo ano pa nga, no? Pakat pa yung tira, avoiding that block. Ito, paalala ko sa kanya, sa front line siya. Sa front siya, Eliza. Mahaba. Masyado malayo yung pin. Ayun na naman. Kim Fajardo this time dug up by Tan. Somebody touched the net again. And it was in anyway. Yeah, and Ateneo with two straight points here. Uh, the delight of the Ateneo fans, 1917. It's been very tough, the battle so far. And Coach Ramil doesn't want it to go beyond two points, so he takes his time out. A microphone si Coach Ramil. So tayo, narinig natin. The two, the fans of two squads are yeah, one big fight. You know, Lasal as Coach Kung Fu is in attendance. Uh -huh. Coach Kung Fu Reyes, former UST. Tiger and... Tatlo. Uh, coach, oh, nagpo-coach ngayon sa UST Women's. Save. Is it a good play? Oh, it's going outside. Oh. USC has a bright future under Coach Kung Fu next year. Definitely. So we're excited to see him back in action as a coach as Ateneo. Matagal-tagal na silang hindi nakapasok sa Final Four. Vesilio. 19-18. for Ateneo, 18 for the side. Valdez goes cross-court again. And she's... She's now, you know, you know that she's in the zone. Every time na nakakakuha ng bola, she gets a point. Matt Nieto. Of course, the, the, the Eagles are in at the end of the basketball uh, ano? team. Oh, marami pa dyan eh. Uh, Monte Sumal, Nieto. In the meantime, the action continues as they appreciate the action of ladies and women's volleyball rather as the push there by Valdez. She didn't go off speed. She didn't go with just a simple dump. It was like a power tip uh, dump. Yeah, and um, kahit na short yung bigay sa kanya, no, she found a way to score. And this is a sub that uh, Coach Ramil needs right now. There hasn't been any good offense uh, coming from De La Salle. So technically, Coach Ramil blinks yeah, first, first here yeah, in this she, match. Yeah. Sinabi naman niya kanina, eh, pag hindi mapatay, dun sa next na play, magsasub. Esperanza and Soyud checking in. Esperanza graduating also. This Ooh. one doesn't roll to the other side for Amy Ahumiro. The lead is down to 21-19 at balik ka agad. Si Kiana at si Kim. Because uh, 
Yeah, what's what, what's Kim, your read on that? Kim Pajardo is a very good server. That's why he, that's why she needs to be put in. And a reminder here inside the venue not to use those flashes. And then everybody, of course, Snapchatting and uh, posting pictures on Instagram and Twitter about their experience here. As well, this. Doesn't get the point, but they'll get the ball back here. A high ball. High ball. Over received by Michelle Tan. So na irapan si Gia Morado. That's right, Gia Morado. Wala, hindi niya na maiwasan talagang in the dump niya, but Baron was right there. I'm quite sure there are a lot of first timers watching uh -huh. live uh -huh. right now at the Araneta Coliseum and watching on ABS CBN Sports in Action. We welcome you to our broadcast. So we're tied again. That, that sub of Coach Ramil. Pampagula. Oh. They have uh, come back from three points down. This is 21-18. We are now tied. Oliver Almagro from uh, earlier winning the winning the uh, first match with Jesse Kim Montalvo Salikod, mm. Casal, Mom of Mika Reyes, and your first match result earlier, not the Basila no first set. Kabawe. And so they go ahead in that series. Sa main division, apat na beses na rin sunod-sunod na nakikita yan dalawang yan. Pang-apat yung ngayon. Uh, National Review and Ateneo, yes. you mean, of course. Galang puts it away. Aragala. And just like that, DLSU with four straight points to get themselves ahead. Ducky and down 18-21, up 22-21. If Fajardo was put into serve and she's doing such a good job at it, this is a play that they needed. First of all, Ateneo had a good reception. Coach Ty is just jumping all over the place right now. He loved that play. He's probably more tired than his players. <laughs> Which is always the case every time Ateneo plays. Wow, dog, this is like a, an epic boxing match. One blow after yeah. another. Oh, nice set. Two blockers going up with Baron, leaving Kim D with only one blocker. Sumabuit pangasa net yun. But these two setters are just so. You know, amazing to see and watch. Look at that, it's a blocker, and that's already a testament to what kind of a setter Kim Fajardo and Gia Morado is for that matter. No, na nabibigyan nila ng ganong kalaking advantage yung kanilang spikers. 23-22. Hegeliana is checked at the net, and we are at set point. And Lasal is looking to go up two sets to love. These are the small things that Mika Reyes brings to the table. You know, these, whenever she's in the middle, she's always a very good player. One more, one more, you stop, you can Ah, ah, stop, happy, happy. Uh, is there one thing that we know about the solid they're a resilient team they showed it against FEU uh -huh. not only in terms of matches they you saw it yeah, in yeah, sets yeah, 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 yeah. and they did it again early here in the first set, set. and now they're doing Good. it late here in the second set right now they're a point away from a two sets to love lead let's see if Ateneo can come back Galang Morado. Yeah, that's where you go. But this is oh! blocked. And there you have it. LaSalle is ahead. Wow. Two sets to love in game number one. 25-22.
in set number two, coming from behind in both sets, one and two. And you're all watching this live on ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Back inside the Araneta Coliseum, we're about to begin set number three. These are the numbers from set number two, and again, the blocking has been superb yeah. for LaSalle. Both teams, Doki, and have played very well in spurts. Pagkakaibang spurts. Yeah. LaSalle, Ateneo, LaSalle, Ateneo. Like I said, it's like a boxing match. Yeah. But what's, what, what we're seeing, at least in the first two sets, is LaSalle has had the finishing kick. Very true. And kung makikita mo, the floor defense of LaSalle always picks up in the last part of the of the set and halos walang bumabagsak na bola sa kanila and that's what uh, giving Ateneo a hard time and Ateneo's offense has become predictable I think three or four sets have gone to Eliza Valdez in those last uh, plays and they were scoring better Ateneo was scoring better when there was more variation in their offense when Ahomiro was um, attacking and sets were given to De Leon and Gekiana and uh, the, it's also a testament to how Delasal has been blocking. You know? Such a great blocking we're seeing from the middle uh, attackers, blockers of uh, Delasal. Third set, very crucial right now. Bo. Oh, yeah, obviously. And we've seen it happen a lot of times. A team ahead by two suddenly well, collapses, and before yeah. I know it, we were in a fifth set. So, hindi pa to sigurado, ha? Any, of course, anything of course. can happen here. But the Neos talented enough to come back. But having said that, LaSalle has had the experience of sweeping them Correct. in the first round. Correct. So, but also, having said that, Coach Ramil has had games where he's up 2-0 and they would lose. Yeah. So, anything can still happen. <laughs> For LaSalle, it's important to stay on top of their game. For Ateneo, it's important to dig down deep now here in game number one. And we are off in Ateneo getting the first point in the set only to be equalized by Ara Gala. Wala nang tagal na, no? Dami na niyang, uh, dami pies natin nakita kay Ara Gala ngayon yung sa iba dinadala yung bola. She's facing one way one side and, and then, then, the then brings it to the opposite side. Yeah. She's the best in yes. that. Correct. I don't think there's anybody yeah. who does that better than her in, in, in the batch of players who are right. playing right That's now. Right. And we've seen it for five years yeah. already. The Angeles Pampanga native delivering today Six points on five attacks. She also has one block. Ano yun, uh, service error na naman for De La Salle. So 2-1. As we go back to Janine Choi. Woman Ian, for Kianadi winning today's game is very important because having the factor of being off by one will give the team an easier advantage. And having that advantage is what the Lady Spikers want. In fact, coming into this game, their mindset was the animation round is over. This is already the finals. There's no more room for mistakes because this is it. In this set, the girls yearn to be consistent and maintaining a happy and positive energy. Thank you, Woman Ian. Thank you very much, Janine. The Riveros are in attendance also. Uh -huh. Like I said, uh, we've got other athletes watching this epic showdown. His school is ahead. Two sets to love, down 2-3 in the third. And Eliza Valdez scores. Down the line, having uh, two blockers up against her. Still finds that, uh, that zone. To get the point. Let's check in with Laura Lima this time. Boom and Ian, at the beginning of this game, I asked Eliza a whole bunch of questions, like how she felt about the game today. But surprisingly, she only had one thing to say. It's going to be a very long day. And sure enough, much like Lai's predictions, the rallies and points in this game have been neck and neck, making for very long sets. Now, Eliza is very confident in her team, but she also knows that LaSalle is equally as capable. She watched tapes of their games, scouted on paper where the balls landed, and then realized how unpredictable her opponents can be. And so, in the huddle, Eliza took on a leadership role, telling her teammates that LaSalle has a deep bench and not to get complacent when they sub in new players. That's all for now, Bumanian. Well, talking about a long day, they have to <laughs> prolong this day if they want to come back and win, Laura, as the, uh, of course the team is down two sets but up three points early here so the early goings have gone yeah. to Ateneo in sets one and two and now three it's the finishing correct 
midway. So, tatay. Then, yun na. Tama kay Lasal yung makakakapit ng gusto sa finishing ng uh, for end stage of the set. It's a race! And a race from uh, Ali. So, four-point lead. So, it's their turn, Nokia, to show some resiliency. Valdez with 15 points in this match right now. For leading reception. All, leading all scorers. Yeah, sorry. And Mika <laughs> Reyes. It, it wasn't a, a quick set that she normally hits. Itong mataas-taas tong set na to, but she still had the right timing, had the right presence of mind to avoid the block and the power that went with that spike. Come on, say it. You know, there's something, okay, there's, something, there's something else. No, I don't want to say it. <laughs> you want to say it. I'd rather not. 11 points, Doc Ian, for Mika Reyes. Ooh! It's going to be Maraginot hitting the net, no? Again, that block of Reyes and uh, Nemesilio together with Fajardo. Making it hard. Look at this set. Look at Fajardo. Lakas talaga nung atake ni Maraginot. Pero hinabol ni Galang. Balik ang bola sa Ateneo. Mabilis na binigay kay De Leon. Lasal naman. Aatake. Demisilio off the block. Check ball. And they have come back again. Down four. Down one now. Coach Ty Bundit signaling. You gotta be firm in your block. No, kailangan mas matiba yung block. You're getting loose. Because that ball is always going to get through you if it's a soft block. Poor reception from Eliza. Good save by Tan. Do they get it back? And they do. Demisilio threw the block this time. And we are all tied up at 7 all. Wow. It's the confidence rising for LaSalle right now that, hey, you know, we're down two points, three points. We've done it before. Ganun na yung utak nila ngayon. Go. I wonder if the way they got to the finals has really toughened them. This is could be, you know, Doc. Might be boom. Yeah. Looking at history, as we look at Demisilio here, get them points. to the technical timeout. Down four, now up one. I'll give you. We'll give you a little bit of a yeah. historical perspective of this finals march of Lasalle when we come back. We're back inside the Araneta Coliseum, almost 20,000 strong. The Big Dome witnessing an epic matchup between Ateneo Lasal for game number one. And from four points down, they take a one point lead. Talking about Lasal, they have lost four games though, going into the final. Yeah, four games. Now, when you look at 2009, there were 13 and 1 when they get to the finals. 2010, 13 and 1. 2011, 13 and 1. 2012, 14 0. They swept, if yeah. you remember. We're just talking about their march to the finals. Huh? 2013, 13 and 1. 2014, Yun. 14 0. Today, this year, they've lost four. Does that, do you think that toughens up a team? Do you think that? That also says that the team is weaker because they lost four, four games in there. What do you think, though? Personally, I think it really helped them a lot if you're talking about how they approach the game, how they you know, approach adversity, not okay. only after losing a, a match, but looking back at what they did wrong. That's the best chance that you've got to look at that. games that you lost, and that's the time that you correct it. And I'd have to give it to De La Salle's coaching staff uh -huh. for reading those kinds of situations well and learning from them. For the side of Ateneo, they, they've also done the same thing so yes, many of course. times. So many Their times first championship. Yes. Eh, butas na karayong yun. Pinagdaanan. Oh. They've done that so many times before. And uh, last year was different though. Last year was really uh, dominant. Dom dominant performance. Ngayon, abante ng tatlo ang La Salle. They're looking to pour it on right here, 11 to 8 in set number 3. And Coach Tai will call a timeout. Let's play for each other. 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 Let's play
the team captain, the graduating Eliza Valdez, trying to get every ounce of encouragement yep. to the to the other players. No, just let's just say or let's just pretend that we're just in practice. Let's just play. Let's play for each other. These are the kinds of words that you'd like to hear from a team captain, especially in these these kinds of uh, moments that you're down by three and then you're down by two sets. Gareas, too much muscle behind that one. Lead is two. 11-9, Basal ahead in sets and in, and in this set. Longa Hekiliana serving. Ginanahan na yung uh, reception ng De La Sal. Sumasama na yan eh, no, Dok? Uh -huh. Open, Maraginot. Kalang was there, Temesilio. Oh, good reflexes by Woo. Galang to keep that ball alive. Watch out. Oh, oh. that's out. Oh. So I thought that um, Morado was going to uh, Ahomiro, but she went to Maraginot, so. <laughs> now, now Coach Tai and Coach Ramil laughing at each other. <laughs> we, I'm telling you, <laughs> we really oh. have to have an ISO camera yeah, 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 for yeah, both yeah. of them. <laughs> And oh, both bet, of them are game, huh? I bet they want to play the game too, right? Eliza <laughs> Valdez, low on that attack. The lead is four. Dangerous moments. Yeah, they can't let this lead get any bigger right now. First is a good reception for Ateneo. They need a good reception first. Uh, again, a momentum killer, as they call it. A service yeah. error for Sid Demisilio. Yes, Santiago, Jarel Singh. In attendance here, watching. Gala puts it away. Yeah, two blockers went up with Majoy Baron, so Ara Galang only had a blocker to contend with, and uh, that's almost a gimme each and every time for Ara Galang. Eight points. Look at that. Two blockers got trapped. Short serve. Back to Valdez. There you go. First clean hit from uh, Eliza. A long time. Yeah. Just like Ara, if you have one blocker in front of Eliza, that's going to be the result each and every time. 16 points for her. Kiwi serving. One-handed set. Grabe. Half of that point should go to Kim Fajardo. Kaya mo ba daw yun, Dok? Kaya mo ba? Ginagawa mo ba yun? Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> baka, baka puro pito abutin ko pag gano'n. <laughs> Ako palalampasin ko na lang. Inyo na yan. Sasabihin ko sa kami. A very modest partner over here. <laughs> Two-time best setter, Dok, uh, in Laurel. Oh! A service ace. And this is the biggest lead. For LaSalle right now, 16-11 and set number three, Baron with nine points. Inside the Araneta Coliseum for game number one. Diana B. Nico Reyes. Yeah. Majoy Baron, collective effort. This is a tough front line for De La Sala. There you go. Galang Reyes. The blocking has been the yeah, no. number for La Sal today. After 16 points of Valdez, the next is uh, Maraginot with seven. And uh, six for Almiro. Everybody else here in the month of La Sal, we said, you know, spread out. Reyes has scored. Galan has scored. Demisilio recently has been scoring. And 10 block advantage. 12 2 as the graduating Meita Jima is in the game yeah. for the first time. After Bea de Leon scores that point, she is sent out. What's the explanation for this? Kaya, uh, Doc, pagulat pa Yeah, mo most likely Coach Tai wants to change the complexion. Tajima getting a block. See, that's. Uh, the department that they need her the most at this point. D, that's too low. Yeah, that didn't go over. So that that's a 
violation and already Tajima has made her presence felt with those uh, two blocks already Makandini the push to the other side they go back to Valdez double block on her and the point goes to the sun. Valdez is really trying very hard right now. But against Kim D and Mika Reyes, look at that. Walang lulu sa tanyo bola. She has to get more sets that are further away from the net. A little back further. To give her more room to maneuver. Four point lead. Malayo pa to. Atene has a very has a long way to go. And now another sub. This son is in the match alongside Nate Kojima, the father of Eliza, in attendance here. Has a worried look as his daughter's team's down by four. A stun on the other side. Valdez from the back row, it's too low. It's too low for Eliza. And you can see there's signs of uh, fatigue. Para naghahabol ng hangin ngayon si Eliza. She's been working so hard. I mean, it's not that wasn't a clicking, yeah, yeah. but you know what I mean. Sha, sha, yung kumakayo dito. They haven't seen them go to Maraginot and Ahumio for a while now. Ahumio is not there on the floor right now as Maraginot goes cross court, easily taken by Makandini. Galang from the back row puts it away, and they are marching here in set number three, 20 to 14. Talking about Masal, underhand. Young and his Pampanga native sends that baby home. To put it in perspective, as we look at this Aragalang attack, FEU this season is 10 and 1 when they're leading two sets to love. The one was against FEU, if you remember mm. the final four, yeah, they yeah, were up yeah, two yeah, sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the epic comeback of FEU yeah. uh, to force the rubber match, they are 10 and 1 going back to the first round and second round when they are leading two sets to love. So they want to make that 11 and 1. Reyes overshoots that one. Too strong. And Coach Ramil, even at this point, the perfectionist that he <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, you, yeah. You're seeing what I'm seeing, no? Yeah. Sabi niya kay Coach, sabi niya kay Mika, bakit mo ito tulak sa likod? Di ang kaya ng kaya mong i i dikit sa just behind the net. So this is a completely different lineup for Ateneo right now. But Demisilio finds a spot to give them their 21st point here in game number one and set number three. And in that timeout of Coach Tai, he was trying to at least release some of the pressure from the Ateneo players because that's how they look right now. Yeah, they look a little bit like that first matchup. Yeah, yeah, although yeah. that was worse. Very that was worse, although that was a sweep also. Yeah. But the way they played was worse. Talaga malaki yung mga... Oo, oh, malayo agad, oh. malayo agad. Ito, the first two sets, lamang sila yung lamang. Pa sila. Lamang pa sila. But I understand what you're saying, Doc. See? The, the facial expression, the body, body language. language. Yeah. And you see it on your cameras right now. Uh, There's a look of frustration here as they cannot get a clean attack as LaSalle with a seven point lead in set number three. And uh, the green gallery, the half of the Araneta. Smelling blood right now. Nakatayo na. Oh, what a save. Amiga has been on fire today, hasn't she? Oh, yeah. Both in offense and defense. Yep. Kalan keeps that up. Three ball. Oh, that's outside. Yeah, so it's beyond the antenna. Yes. But still, they got a three touches, so it means that they were successful in keeping it in play. Look at that dive. 
from Reyes. Yun, they should do more of those. Uh, Ateneo, yung uh, attacks nila from either the back quick or the front quick. Makatili over receives, but Fajardo makes something out of it. Now a chance to go for a point. Fajardo oh! babies that one. Sabi, puts her mid-set ko na lang. Pero she's been so successful. Yeah, yeah. Ito, nap napatay mo si Coach Romil. <laughs> Ayaw niya maging careless. Ah, Nanini Guru, si Coach yeah. Romil, Doc, he doesn't want to let the sand slip correct, through his correct, fingers correct. right now. Sabi niya, nakadalawang puntos na, napatimeout siya, ayaw niya nang dumikit pa. And talking about the matchup of the setters, we talked about it in our pregame. Morado now has 39 excellent sets, Fardo with 35, but the big difference is actually the scoring between these two setters. Morado only has one point for now, and Fajardo having five already, boom. So in opensa ng setters, I think Fajardo has the edge. Morados underhands it to Maraginot. Makandiri. Back to the Basilio on the other side. High too ball. Easy. That's too easy for Sid. And they pay the price. Yes. Three straight points. And that is five attack price. points for Ateneo. 13 for DLSU in set number three. So it's a 13-5 advantage Layo. so far. Four-point lead. See what happens. Ekiliana. Good serve. Barot puts it away. Enjoy Barot. Good reception from yeah. Aragala. Of course, he now will not give Fajardo in. There you go. Barot with a point. Itching closer and closer is De La Salle. 23-18. Valdez. The Vesilio was there but could not control it. Holding on to her shoulder a little bit as she's as you see she's wrapped up after that dive look at this attack by Valdez the only player in double figures yeah. for them 19 serving 23 oh this is dangerous for De La Salle and Ateneo still has some fight in them and Coach Romil will call another one as Ateneo is getting closer and closer in set number three. Two points away from winning game number one. Coach Ramil burned his last time yeah. up. Actually, magkasunod, just two points of each other yung timeout ni Coach Ramil. And sinabi niya, relax, huwag niyong madaliin, wala naman kayong hinahabol eh. You gotta slow it down. And that's up to Fajardo to do. And there you go, they get themselves the match point courtesy of the graduating oh was that Galang? Who, yeah that was Galang. That was Galang sorry well the graduating <laughs> Aragalang I was about to say Sid de Basilio, but it was Aragalang with the patented yeah. down the line facing attack. the other way spinning the other way attack. nine points for her oh service error three points oh this is Ateneo's chance right here uh, no room for error for the defending champions they have a chance right now. Alisa in front. Bea de Leon as well. Morado is right there to set. Ahomiro. They go to D. Makantili has been there. Free ball. They set back. Galang! And there you do it! Ara Galang gets it to spin. 
around the net to get match point. Wow. What a sequence. What a sequence. Wow. Aragalang. Yeah. You know, just enough, huh? just enough to cross the net. No, okay. We didn't have spin on it. Gumapang. Umbaga, gumapang. Yung tira ni Gala. And good enough to get them. Game number one of the UAP Women's Volleyball Finals. Masal gets their noses ahead in front of 20,000 people here at the Araneta Coliseum. We'll take a break and we will be back to break it down and wrap this baby up. Defying Coach Ramil's earlier assessment, it turns out that the underdog Lady Spikers only needed three days to fully prepare for the two-time defending champion Ateneo. This win was a testament to the resiliency of LaSalle as well as their relentlessness on defense, pushing the team one step closer to the UAP title. When the going gets tough, when their proverbial backs are against the wall, this Lady Spikers squad would come together and produce magic on the Taraflex floor. <laughs>